Oh, hi there. It's nice to see you. Welcome to Mr. Kane's Story Time. It is Tuesday, June the 20... Hold on, let me count. 23rd, 2020. And I want you to know that Miss Marina and I would love nothing more than for all of us to be together learning in the classroom. The best part was that earlier today, Miss Marina and I got to come and visit many of you like we did yesterday too. So it was so nice being able to see you and your family. Um, I miss us being in class together. And I'm sure you already got a sense of that. I'm sure I probably had some tears today. And that is because of the fact that I care so much about all of you. So, I've got a story that I'm sharing with you today that I absolutely love. It's by a dear friend of mine named Christine. Baldacino. It's called Morris Micklewhite and Tangerine Dress. I love it. But anyway, um, let's get started with our song. We're all together again. We're here. We're here. We're all together again. We're here. We're here. And who knows when we'll be all together again. Well, we have Circle Not Circle tomorrow at 11 a.m. on Google Meet and story time, of course, at 2.30 in the afternoon. And just to give you a heads up that this Friday, Friday, June the 26th, 2020, will be the last Mr. Kane story time for this school year. I'm going to be taking a break over the summer to rest and recuperate and re-energize so that I'm ready to go for the fall. But I want to thank you all for being here with me since the 16th of March. Incredible. We're all together again. We're here. We're here. So, um, as I mentioned, it's Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday is here. Everybody cheer. Today is Tuesday. All day long. All right. Morris Micklewhite and the Tangerine Dress. Now, many of you know that I love to wear dresses too. I just think they're so beautiful. Let's find out why Morris likes to wear them. It's a very lovely story. Morris Micklewhite has a mother named Moira and a cat named Moo. Morris likes Sundays because his mother makes him pancakes on Sundays. How many of you like pancakes? What's your favorite way to have them? I like pancakes with bananas and strawberries and blueberries covered in maple syrup and sometimes even with chocolate chips. How about you? Mondays are great too because on Mondays Morris goes to school. Morris likes lots of things about school. He likes to paint, he likes to do puzzles, he likes the apple juice at snack time, and singing the loudest during circle time. Morris sounds like me. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I just had that realization why I love this story so much. Most of all, Morris likes the dress-up center. When I was little, that's where I spent all of my time. And I always would pretend that I was the mom. I think mainly because I love my mom so much. And the tangerine dress. Morris likes the color of the dress. It reminds him of tigers, the sun, and his mom's hair. He likes the noises the dress makes, swish, swish, swish when he walks, and crinkle, crinkle, crinkle when he sits down. He takes turns wearing all the different shoes, but his most favorite ones go click, click, click across the floor. I loved art. I loved the dress-up center. I loved doing puzzles. I love apple juice. And I always love to sing so loud. And this happened too. Sometimes the boys would make fun of Morris. Sometimes even the girls too. Morris pretends he can't hear their words over the swish, swish, swishes or the crinkle, crinkle, crinkles and click, click, clicks he made when he walks. Morris pretends he can't hear these words, but he can. Now, I often will say to you, if you have nothing nice to say, zip it, lock it, and put it in your pocket. Someone should tell those kids the exact same advice. 
On Monday, Becky, always Becky, tried to pull the dress right off his back. You can't wear it. You're a boy. On Tuesday, Eli, Henry, and the other boys wouldn't let Morris ride on their spaceship unless he took the dress off. Astronauts don't wear dresses. Wow. It's amazing how little children have such a narrow point of view. I wonder where they get that from. Hmm. On Wednesday, B and Lila noticed Norris's fingernails. His mother had painted them for him the night before. They chased him around the playground shouting, Pinky fingers! Pinky fingers! Wow. These children are not very nice to Morris. On Thursday, the boys wouldn't let wouldn't sit near Morris at the snack table. We don't want you to turn us into girls. How do you think Morris feels being treated like that? It's not like it just happened one day. It seems to be continual. Monday, Becky. Tuesday, those boys wouldn't let him play in the spaceship. Wednesday, B and Lila. And then Thursday, those same boys were like, don't turn us into girls. It's amazing how people think that just by wearing a dress that that somehow is going to turn you into uh, somebody that you're not. I don't know. Because we all know that clothing is just clothing and that clothing does not have gender. It's the same with colors. It's the same with toys. They are toys. They are colors. They are clothes. And anyway, it would be amazing to be a girl. That's what I have to say about that. It sounds as though those boys think that it wouldn't, but those boys are wrong. Being a girl is amazing. And you can rely on me for that, friends. On Friday, Morris pretended that he had a tummy ache. When he thought of all the kids in his class and all the mean things that they did and said, his tummy ached for real. His mother let him stay in bed and read his books about elephants. Moo sat on his lap. Moo like elephants, too. On Saturday, Morris's mom brought him some apple juice. As he took a sip, she stroked his hair. Moo purred loudly. Morris suddenly felt well enough to do a puzzle. He hummed to himself and felt better still. On Sunday, Morris crawled out from under the covers. After a wonderful dream about being on a space safari with Moo, in the dream they saw big blue elephants and tigers the color of the sun that Morris could hold in the palm of his hand. Morris has an incredible imagination. The elephants swish, swish, swished as they moved through the grass, and the tigers ate giant leaves that crinkle, crinkle, crinkled as their tiny teeth chewed them. The buttons on the spaceship click, click, clicked under Morris's fingers. What an incredible imagination. So creative, Morris. Morris wanted to share all the amazing things he had seen. He took out his brushes, put on his smock, and he began to paint using every color he could imagine. He showed his painting to his mother when he was done. He pointed out the big blue elephant, the tiny tiger, the color of the sun, the tall grass and the giant leaves, he pointed out Moo in his shiny round space helmet. And who's that? His mother asked, pointing at the little boy in the tangerine dress, riding atop the big blue elephant. Morris was hoping that she would ask. That's me, he said. On Monday, Morris went to school with his painting rolled up in his backpack. When he had the chance, he put on the dress that reminded him of tigers and the sun and his mother's beautiful hair. Morris swish, swish, swished. The tangerine dress crinkled, crinkled, crinkled. His shoes click, click, click. Morris felt wonderful. That's how I feel when I put on a dress. I feel wonderful and beautiful and glamorous. That's why I wear them, because they are beautiful. Eli and Henry wouldn't let him on their spaceship, so Morris built his own. 
He hung his painting on the front of it and climbed in, ready to take off. Are there really elephants in space, Eli asked? And tigers? Well, if you follow me, we can find out, Morris offered. Eli and Henry followed Morris to a planet they had never visited before. As they explored, Morris swish, swish, swished. The tangerine dress crinkle, crinkle, crinkled. His shoes click, click, clicked. Now they're enjoying his amazing imagination. By the time they returned to Earth, Eli and Henry had decided that it didn't matter if astronauts wore dresses or not. The best astronauts were the ones who knew where all the good adventures were hiding. Morris smiled. He already knew that. When snack time was over, Becky demanded the dress. Becky. Morris told her she could have it when he was done with it. Boys don't wear dresses, Becky said. Morris smiled as he swished, crinkled, and clicked back to his spaceship. This boy does. That makes me so happy. I realize why I love Morris Micklewhite in the tangerine dress by my friend Christine Baldacino. It's because it reminds me of my own experience as a kid. That's what's amazing about books, my friends, and I'm sure we've talked about this over the course of the year, that the reason why books are so special is because they activate our imagination and our creativity, but they also share stories with us that we're able to connect to, that make us help to understand each other better and understand ourselves even better. Um, and that's why I love books. And I hope that's why you love books too, but I'm sure you have a million different reasons why you love books. And each and every one of them is so valid. So thank you for being here today at Mr. Kate's story time. I'm so glad I got to share this story. I love this story so much. Mm. We'll be back again tomorrow uh, at 2.30 and we'll see you tomorrow in the morning at um, at Circle Not Circle at 11 a.m. Bye, everyone. Thanks for being here.